Today, the mayor said you asked for outdoor learning and he listened. Starting today, we empower our principals to determine the maximum amount they can do outdoors. It's up to them to figure out how to use uh, schoolyards and anything on school property that's outdoors. That announcement taking some administrators by surprise, like Carlos Guzman, the principal at MS324, who's for it, but can't afford it. Once it gets um, a bit colder, you know, how are we going to navigate around that? And, um, you know, thinking about the snow and the rain. Some principals say this short-sighted announcement is too late and too expensive without financial help from the city or state. The mayor doesn't believe it will cost a lot, but tents, cooling and heating, plus coats, boots and gloves for kids they can't afford expensive winter gear. The city suggests PTAs with bigger bank accounts help those with less money. If a PTA has done their fundraising and they've raised more than enough for their school, uh, let's identify another school that doesn't have that fundraising capacity. Let's help them out too. Not only does MS 324 in Washington Heights not have a big bank account, its PTA is incomplete with just two parents. Of course, there's. N I don't believe that we can afford that. The principal's union saying once again the city and DOE announcing a deadline far too late to develop a thoughtful plan, raising security concerns. Without funding, this plan will exacerbate already existing disparities. Making matters more complicated, principals must submit their plan to the DOE by Friday. It will be approved or denied the following week, and school starts six days after that, September 10th.